What's up guys, this is Chris from on and before we start, I just want to say that I'm really sorry that it it took longer than I usually take to make a tutorial, but the reason why is because I've been really busy with the university, a lot of homework, a lot of stuff to do, and uh, also I have a bit of an like, issue, not an issue, but like a few things going on in my personal life and I have to take care of them. So, but anyways, yeah, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an elegant, clean looking, cool, simple intro. Okay, so first we need a uh, composition. I'm gonna name this main, about 30 seconds long. Maybe 25 would be enough, but I'm gonna go with 30. Uh, let's see, oh, okay, let's go with 20. And I'm using this preset, you can use whatever preset you like, and I'm gonna click OK. Next we need another composition, I'm gonna name this text, no actually I'm gonna name this one. And uh, I'm gonna add as a background image this, let's go to scale. As you can see, this image is way bigger than 1080p, so I have to scale it, let's see, maybe 40, yeah, 40 is good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set it as 3D, close it for now. So now we need a new adjustment layer, I'm gonna name this check board, because we will be using a effect called uh, checkboard drag that on and size to width and height sliders so at the start of our timeline set width and height a keyframes and both set them to one and one and blending mode to screen then move a couple keyframes forward and set opacity keyframe to five then again move forward Set the width and height both to 3. Now again, bit forward and set the opacity to 35. So now you can see that checkboard. Next we need another adjustment layer, let's call this noise, because we will need an effect called noise. Here it is, and that. And this is on top. We're gonna set the noise amount to 11 and make it a 3D layer. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the new layout. Not the layout, but the colors. So let's uh, create new adjustment layer. I don't like the colors of 2015 uh, FFX. I don't know why, I just don't like it. Um, if anyone knows how to get back to the old 2014 colors, I would much appreciate that because I just, I can't send these colors, like seriously. Okay, um, now we need fractal noise and, no, it's actually called, called turbulent noise. So let's add that. Uh, contrast to 54, fractal type, turbulent smooth, complexity, let's change it to like 7.5, and evolution, let's go with start, and let's set it to 300, set a keyframe, opacity to 48, then move to the end, and just like multiply that by um, 29 times. Okay, and then select the ellipse tool and duplicate it, uh, not duplicate it, but du double click it. Damn, I can't talk right now. Um, okay, and set the feather, just like feather it. And lower the opacity to something like that. Okay, okay, and like that. And we need a new camera. Okay, now let's go into transform and orientation, set a keyframe, oops, sorry, not there, but that is start, set keyframe, set this to 0 
and 0 0.5 and this to 10.5 um, 10.5 okay um, don't worry about these black squares that the background is going out of the frame don't worry about that um, copy this okay this number right here because we will need that later on now set the keyframe for position and simply zoom into your footage or background as as much as you can pretty much just like I'm gonna zoom about like this far okay now let's move forward to about here and just like zoom out not fully like to about minus 1200 something like that and control click until you get a square in the keyframe now move again forward somewhere here and set the orientation to 359.9 .9 and this to 0.1 now go to about like like here or whatever like time you want your image to be fully zoomed out and just pass the okay we're okay I don't I think it was thousand something the number was okay so I'm gonna zoom to about 1000 minus 1800 I think it was something like this now select both of these right click keyframe assistant easy ease and uh, then Alt click on orientation and type wiggle square brackets is it square I think they're called square bra brackets and 0 0.2 comma 1 and basically what it is uh, 0 0.2 it is how many times per second something is gonna change in orientation and basically 0. Um, 0 0.2 times per second orientation is gonna change by one now as you can see it did change and you can see it's like doing this little like it just wiggling the camera around okay now let's add a new solid and let's call it particular click OK and we need trap code particular and just drag that on I'm gonna solo it go to emitter type box velocity to zero velocity random to zero particles per second to 25 emitter size let's go with 2070 and here with a thousand one hundred and fifty and this to let's just add two and three so it's two thousand three hundred and fifty okay now let's open up particle and uh, particle type to cloudlet life to eight feather to zero and size to three and opacity to eight. Now let's move down to rendering motion blur and set it to on. Okay, we can close that and we can close this and this and this and set it to 3D layer. Now let's unsolo it, let's move it here and we need another new adjustment layer. Let's call this blur we need an effect called radial blur add that oops uh, <clears throat> um, we need this radial blur okay yeah and type to zoom anti-aliasing to high let's go to the start set a keyframe for amount and set it to 51 let's now move forward to about here and set it to zero 
and now um, press U on our keyboard, select both of them, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. Okay, now we need to type our text and I'm gonna type um, you are okay and I'm gonna right click it and pre-compose it I'm gonna name it you are okay now let's open it up um, title action safe something like that good now let's move back I can close this down okay I need to move this on top and this here okay <clears throat> so that's good and now I'm gonna type my other text okay and uh, can just scale it. Oops. I'm sorry for it taking like to load a bit slow, but that's because I have a Cinema 4D rendering going on in the background, so that's taken a bit of resources there. I hope you can forgive me about that. So uh, right click again, pre-compose, and uh, let's just leave it at awesome and click OK. OK, I'm going to now move this down and turn it off, and I'm going to duplicate Actually, I'm going to turn them on both as 3D and I'm going to duplicate this one, turn the bottom one off and we need an effect called uh, Mosaic, I think that's how it's called, I don't know. Um, drag that on and we need block CC block load. And block load, we're going to set it to 6 and scans to 13. And then we're going to move to about like here. And we're going to close this down. And we're going to open the opacity and set opacity keyframe at 100. And now let's move forward to here. And we're going to set a. We're going to set a keyframe for horizontal blocks and set it to 40. Now let's move a few frames forward and set the vertical block keyframe. Now let's move forward and set horizontal blocks to 28. Now again move forward and set it back to 40. Now let's move forward and set the opacity to 23 and now move two keyframes forward and set horizontal blocks to 25. Press U on our keyboard to see all the keyframes. Okay now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a I'm gonna turn this back on so I can see it and I'm gonna go and create a line I don't know by using what should I use the pen tool let's see let's try a straight line no I need a line okay, let's try hope it will do the work yeah it seems like it does okay um fill um to none okay Actually, no, let's fill it with white and stroke to maybe like four or something like that. That looks, yeah, that, that works, all right. So that's going to be here, that's going to be the bottom line. Line, bottom, make it 3D. And now let's move the anchor point okay 
Okay. And now let's go to, if I'm not wrong, it was scale, was it? Yeah, cool, all right. Okay, let's move to about, let's see, about like here. And let's set the scale to zero. So we don't see it. Set a keyframe. And now let's move forward to here and set it to 100. And maybe not 100. I think I need to change the position of it. Oops, wrong one. Let's see about like about that. Okay. And the scale is going to be somewhat like that. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Now let's make it easy ease. I could press F9, but F9 for me is to stop recording and I don't really want to press that right now. Okay, and simply just Ctrl D to duplicate the line and let's call it line top and then go to transform and change the position. So we're, I'm going to move it up. like that and I'm gonna take these keyframes and and just move them like that so pretty much when the bottom line finishes or its scale finishes up to its size the top one will also finish well the top one will start as you can see the bottom one finishes and the top one starts okay Looks pretty cool. Um, now let's see about the text. Awesome. Can open it and move it down a bit. Something like that. That looks okay. Decent. Good. I like it. Okay, I can close it down. Close it down. Okay. Okay, and now pretty much everything we need to do is just move our text up. So let's go back to about here and I'm going to turn off the awesome and I'm going to turn only this one up on and so this with the move seek on and go to rectangle tool. I'm going to go actually this far and I'm just going to draw a mask like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the time that I was at and I'm going to make sure that it's like it like drops in from the top so I like now I'm going to move the mask as you can see there is nothing and now I'm going to move forward to here and I'm going to move the mask down like this far okay and I'm gonna just make sure I see only the keyframes and I'm gonna turn this one on press U and R um, okay I don't have any keyframes so I'm gonna move a bit forward to here and uh, um, I'm gonna set the keyframe move it to here just like further away and here I'm just gonna move it down like that so that way it moves up and this keyframe I'm gonna move it to about here like that and we also obviously need a mask so let's just draw a mask like that actually no um we need from the bottom up like that okay and now let's go into mask mask path set a keyframe here 
at the, when the tax is up. Now move back. Um, wait, no, it's not how it is supposed to be. It's pretty late. I can't really think clearly. Okay, so just move the mask up about this far. Let's see how it goes. No, it moves down. Okay, so I'm just going to move the mask. to here. Okay, let's see now. Mm, yeah, it does everything I need. Okay, cool. Easy ease. Uh, we can do the same here, I guess. I don't know. It really... It's not gonna really give anything at this. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna work with the awesome text. And again, go into transform, position. Um, let's see where I... Yeah, okay, so set position, move again away, and just drag it up like that. Move forward to here then just drag this keyframe back right click and easy ease cool all right and uh, we need now mask okay I have to move the mask a bit down like that and uh, Set path, you move back and move path down. Okay. Okay, what is this? Why is the mask moving so much? I don't know why it's moving, but I'm just going to manually fix it. Okay, I'm going to preview this part. Okay, it looks good. Okay, now we're finished with this. All right, so we're pretty much done with this comp right here. And if you want to add like like I did, I had, I think, four animations going on. Um, and to do that, simply just copy everything from here. So just copy, go back to me, no, uh, to project, create a new uh, composition, and let's just name it two. And I'm going to simply pass everything inside, and you can see it's the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to drag like a different image. Like, let's just, oops, um, let's just say this 3D scale. Let's try, is it 40? No, 40 is not good enough. Okay, I'm going to go with like, let's go with 56. Okay. And yeah, and then you just simply like, uh, I don't know, like, let's try. I'm going to get rid of line bottom and and top. And let's just, I'm going to add a simple box that will cover my text like that. Make it 3D. Cool, and uh, let's just move it underneath. Why it's in a different color? Why it's not white? Huh. 
Is it white? No, it's not white. That's why I was wondering why it does not look white. Yeah. Okay, that's fixed. All right. So, and what I did, I opened this up, right click it, um, where was it? Create masks from text, that's what I did. And I copied uh, all the masks. So copy them, control C, go back to this shape layer and just pass them. And uh, if we go to masks, I'm going to just check inverted or what I had to do. I think it was inverted. Let me see. Um, let's see, what if I uncheck all? Oh, so pretty much just leave one um, as inverted and you should be cool. So yeah, that's... There are There is no animation for it because you have to then animate each separate letter, you know, just move it up and stuff like that. But still, you know, you get a pretty cool looking uh, effect. And um, I'm just going to move it back up. Okay, and so if you have those two, like, as you can see, I have two um, compositions right now. I'm just going to drag both of them in. The first one, let's just say I want it to end about like here. Okay, like there. So I simply move this to here and then move this to here. So in next frame, it starts and goes off. Well, because I have this like giant um, square that I did not put any opacity or anything on, it just zooms from it. So, but you pretty much get the point that you, or I, I can just like simply duplicate this and move it to here. So as you can see, I'm going to quickly demonstrate the transition. So as you can see, it quickly just like switches and goes back, see, to the next one. You can add motion blur. And like, I don't know, like at this point, uh, like, um, like as text comes up right here, you can just like add bounce effect to it or something like that. Pretty cool. Um, like here bounces back and up, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You, I hope you got the basic idea how I achieved this because I'm not going to show you like every, um, text I did there because it's just simply animations of the lines and stuff like that's not really worth the while. Um, but if you really want that, you can uh, contact me via Twitter, Facebook, uh, Gmail, uh, YouTube, and I will give you the download link for that template. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, make sure you leave them down below in comments. So yeah, subscribe, like, share, and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.